You have like all the potential, all the time, all the resources, everything that you possibly need. And, but when you're feeling sorry for yourself, you won't do anything with all those things. And that was me today. Welcome to day 44 of my 365 day vlogging experiment. This is the vlog where I am documenting the behind the scenes of growing my business. And in any journey, I'm sure, especially business slash creative journeys, there are a lot of ups and downs. Today was a big fat down. And that's just the truth of it. I actually almost didn't even vlog today. I It is currently almost 6 p.m and I'm just now getting in front of my camera. That is because, honestly, I haven't done much today. I haven't really worked on my business. I haven't really worked on any of my creative endeavors. Today has just been a down day, and a few minutes ago, about an hour ago, I could have listed a whole lot of reasons as to why it's been a down day, but after checking myself, <laughs> Uh, there's no other reason other than the fact that I'm allowing it and that I allowed myself to go into this giant pity party and basically kind of sort of wasted the day but not really because there's always a lesson behind anything like that, right? I hesitated vlogging today because I was like, this vlog is not even feeling like a biz business vlog. I'm not even doing anything related to business but you know, this is part of my story. These down days, this this struggle that I have, oftentimes on a daily basis with having to like motivate yourself and working on things that are not necessarily generating any income right now and are not necessarily gaining any momentum or anything like that. It just begins to feel so repetitive and so boring and so I question whether anybody's even gonna watch this vlog, but then I'm like, I don't care. I don't care if anybody watches this vlog. This is not why I started documenting my business journey. I started documenting this business journey for myself and it just got really bright. Just give me a second. I started this experiment in a very unfiltered, raw, honest way and I want to keep it that way. You know, today I didn't do anything. I actually, the only thing I did do was edit yesterday's vlog, which was my first vlog after, after coming back from a vacation. And that's it. And it took longer than expected because I'm out of practice. It's been over a week since I have edited. So that took a little bit longer. Other than that, I literally, I'm not even kidding right now. I sat in front of my computer and didn't know where to start, didn't know what to do. And then I went to go sit on my, on the other side of the studio and took a nap. Straight up took a nap. And there's a million things to do, but that's just the power of like when your mind, when you're feeling sorry for yourself and when you're just allowing yourself to go into like this negative space, like that's what will happen. You have like all the potential, all the time, all the resources, everything that you possibly need. And, but when you're feeling sorry for yourself, you won't do anything with all those things. And that was me today. That is exactly what I spent my day doing. But even though I'm not proud of that, obviously, I needed to get in front of the camera and record that. I needed to document that because it's a reminder for myself. And if you are going through something similar, if you're starting a business, if you're starting anything and you just have down days, just know that you have the power to get yourself out of that place. Easier said than done. Like I said, it's it's six o'clock and I'm just now getting myself out of that place. So how did I do that? Well, I one, I took a nap. <laughs> I cried a little bit. And then I left my office and I went to go have some chocolate. I went to have some coffee. And I watched a video that my husband, oh, this light. Okay, I'm gonna have to set up here. Okay, where was I? So after I had my nap, my good cry, and my chocolate, cilantro, after all of that, I watched a video that my husband had sent me a few days ago. And I just, I don't know why I haven't watched it, especially because it's a picture of Matthew McConaughey on the thumbnail and I and he knows I love him and it's like a voiceover and a motivational speech that he gave somewhere and the video is just different clips of people doing different things and it's Matthew's voice the whole time and yeah, I don't know why I had avoided watching that. Anyway, finally made myself sit down and watch that and it just helped me shift my perspective and know that the overwhelm, the anxiety and everything that I was feeling that was just making me feel really frustrated is, is in my control. All I was doing was just having a giant pity party and feeling sorry for myself. And honestly, I don't even know for what. Like, I'm in this amazing, amazing space. I have an amazing support system. I have a little, an adorable office buddy. 
And I mean, we're still getting the studio space together, but I have everything I need and, and no lack of ideas. So what am I waiting for? I don't know, I don't, I have no idea. It was just all a bunch of excuses. Literally, like this was my mind, this was what I was telling myself inside. I was like, well, I don't have a, a proper desk yet and I, I don't have this one program yet and I don't have a background set up where I can film my videos. Like, no joke, like stupid stuff like that. And just watching this video where, honestly right now I don't remember like any exact quote from it, but it just helped me, I don't know, just snap out of it. Maybe it was because it was Matthew McConaughey's voice. Maybe it was because the husband sent it to me and most likely because of the the power, the message was really powerful. But it just, you, you know what? Actually, it empowered me. It reminded me that I have the control. I have the power to map out my day. I have the control to decide whether it's going to be a good day or a bad day, a productive day or a non-productive day just by my attitude, by how I approach things. So I figured, you know, I don't care that it's 6 p.m. I need to get in front of my camera and I need to just show up. And that's a lesson that I'm learning right now. When all else fails, when you're just having a down day, when things just are overwhelming or don't seem to be going as great as they could be for no reason at all, or maybe for a, a valid reason, it doesn't matter. The important thing is to show up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm showing up filming this vlog, talking about how I didn't get anything done today, and that's okay. Because one, there's still a few more hours left in the day, so I can still do something, I can still make something happen. And two, it's a really good lesson and a really good reminder to acknowledge if, if I'm having a down day, if I'm feeling sorry for myself, or whatever the case may be, and then be like, okay, that's where I'm at, I'm gonna take control, I'm gonna change it. I'm going to take a step in the direction that I want. I'm going to do things that I want to do. This is a vlogging experiment about business stuff. And I wanna show the business stuff that happens behind the scenes, even if it's about feelings and mindset and maybe not so exciting things like other business things. This is the reality of this aspiring entrepreneur's story. So thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow.